Hi guys, Richard here from Black Mountain Photography. I'm going to be talking to you today and doing a very quick review on the Paralens camera. Now we took one of these units with us to Roots Red Sea a couple of weeks ago. Borrowed it from the lovely guys in the camera department at Mike's Dive Store over in Chiswick. And before I sent it back, I just wanted to really capture some thoughts. Uh, I used it alongside my normal camera, which a lot of you will know I use a um, compact camera. I use a Canon G7X uh, for video. Um, lightweight, very easy to, to travel with uh, and gets me some really great results. Um, but having used a GoPro previously many years ago and conscious that technology has moved forward and the Paralens camera being the new kit on the block, I just wanted to try it alongside existing kit uh, just to really see how good it was. Now one of the really cool features that I think the Paralens has got is its uh, unique depth color correcting uh, feature, the DCC. Now the DCC works pretty much for anything above 20 meters. Now how that works, it has a pressure sensing inside the housing and it knows what depth you're at and it will auto color correct your footage during filming. So ideally this would mean less post-production correction during your editing process to put color back into your, to your footage. Because as we all know, you're under the water, you lose your light, you lose the colors, and everything looks a bit bluey green. So I was really uh, interested to have the Paralens mounted directly above my normal camera. As you can see in this photo, I had it mounted on top of my Nauticam house and slap bang in the middle, so that both cameras had the same point of view uh, and same perspective really when I, I was recording for both cameras. So that I could give you a side-by-side -side comparison of how my G7X records uh, while it's white balanced and in video mode and how the Paralens records from a point and shoot perspective. Let's get talking about the camera itself. As you can see the camera is really small to hold in the hands. At one end we have the lens, uh, the Paralens lens that so shoots in 4K and is depth rated to 200 meters. Here we've got the ball joint mounted, but that's obviously where you would attach a number of different accessories, whether it's the head mount or um, the point of view third person aspect to have it following you. On the top, it's just the Paralens logo. It's not a button, doesn't do anything. Here is your operation button. So this switch that you operate with your thumb allows you to take photos, um, to take video, and obviously go through the different menu functions on the camera. We're gonna go to the back. So here is your um, your little view screen. It's a tiny little screen to tell you what, what menu you're in. You're, actually, let's take the end, the end cap off so you can see properly. So triple O-ring, um, absolutely no water getting into there. So it takes a micro SD card. Um, there you go, micro SD card. Uh, you do need to use a uh, a V30, um, one either an Extreme or Extreme Plus, uh, as I'm using here. If you can see that, here you go, the V30 Extreme Plus. Uh, but as with any other camera, slots in, you get the little click when you know that the memory card is in. There you go. The little micro USB uh, for charging and a little viewing screen. I'll leave the end cap off while we talk about some of the functions. So we're in lock mode at the moment, even pressing that, it won't let you take any footage, photos or um, or anything. So you're not using the battery, you're not gonna change any settings about realizing. Take it round to the um, power switch, hold down the switch on the top, and it's given me a long vibration to tell me that it's turned it on. And there you go, there's the Paralens logo. And it's telling me that it's in depth color, correct in mode blue, and I've got 40, is that 42% um, space on the memory card, and I've got a full battery. Clicking it round one to video, gives me a short vibration in the hand so that I know that I've changed something, and on the back it's telling me that I'm in 1080p video mode, shooting at 30 frames per second. Next one round, photo. I get two small vibrations in the, in the unit so that I now know that I'm in the photo mode and to confirm the little screen on the back um, telling me that I've taken 57 photos and shooting JPEG, obviously shoots RAW as well. Um, if I slide the slider down, takes a photo, there you go, 58. Um, 
There we go. Now, custom. What custom allows you to do? So if you would like to, let's say for example, um, you want to shoot something with a very, very high frame rate um, so that you can do some quality slow-mo, but you don't want to go into the menu to change it during the dive. You can check, set custom so that if you go into your custom mode, this is a custom setting for your photo and your video. So for example, on this custom mode, this is set at 720p uh, recording at 100 frames per second. It just meant that if I wanted to do some uh, slow-mo work, I didn't need to go into the menu on the dive, I could go straight to that and record. But you can set your, your custom settings to, to any of the settings that you wish. And then finally, here is your settings. So, there you go, settings. Very, very simple. So you go through your settings by pulling the, the thumb click on the top. Uh, let's just try and get this back in focus, there we go. Um, so just by clicking it once, it's taking me through, there's your depth color correction mode, there's the video mode, depending if you go into that, you'll have to change your different video settings from your um, frames per second or your resolution. There's this custom setting, so I've got my custom setting on slow motion, um, overlay is on, auto record is off, and advanced settings. So we'll just have a quick look at some of those. So here's the Wi-Fi. Obviously hold it down, changes Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is now on, so that's how you would connect it to your uh, Paralens app. Holding it down again turns the Wi-Fi off. Going along to the next one, depth color correcting. Hold down the button on the top to go into the menu, and then you can set the white balance. One small click, set the depth color correction. One small click, Obviously takes you back, so hold down the back, takes you back. Uh, there we go, video mode. So if we go into video mode, you can set the resolution of the video, frames per second, uh, the EIS, uh, and obviously back. So we're just gonna go into frames per second. So if I hold down the button on to go into frames per second, you can shoot 30 frames per second, you can shoot 60 frames per second, you can shoot 100 frames per second, and, and then obviously back. So, cap just goes on the back. You can't over tighten it, it will only let you tighten to a, um, till, it meets, uh, till it reaches the rest of the um, casing. There's your um, lanyard eyelet. So there, there we go. That is the Paralens camera. It's that simple. Some of the things I really, really love about this camera is it's light, uber portable, uh, and so easy to use. I had it mounted on top of my house in on a ball joint, but it comes obviously with a, with a wrist lanyard. And one of the, th the ideas that I had is that if you're if you're on a dive and you're not particularly down to take photos or to video. This would be absolutely perfect. You could literally slip it in the sleeve of your wetsuit on a lanyard and just use it when you need to. You haven't got to worry about anything clipped to your, um, your BCD or worry about having a hand for the time of the camera in it. I thought it was a great idea for that. One of the other things that I love is it's super lightweight nature. It's 155 grams only. It's got a depth rate of 200 meters and that is down to the amazing aircraft grade aluminium that it's made from. This thing is as tough as old boots. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the promotional video. Uh, I saw it recently on Facebook where the Paralens guys had a Paralens camera. They set it to record, pops it on the floor and drove a van over it. Um, obviously no scratches, carried on recording. Uh, I thought it was quite a neat little um, uh, gimmick of, a, of an advert to do for the camera. Uh, worked really well for me uh, and I was sold. Now you might be thinking that a 200 meter depth rating is a little obsessive for a handheld point and shoot camera. I did have those thoughts before I went away but I was proved wrong and I'll tell you why I was proved wrong. I was chatting to a guy called Guy Henderson. Now Guy runs the Open Ocean Marine Biology Centre at Roots Red Sea. Guy was lucky enough to be one of the, I think it was 150 people worldwide, but I, uh, there was a, a 150 people that were uh, kind of employed, if you like, by Paralens uh, to test the prototypes of the camera. Um, Guy was sent a number of Paralens cameras over the last few years uh, to give feedback on uh, before the final edition was released. Now what Guy was able to do as part of his research, um, 
there was a particular fish that he was studying and now in the Red Sea this fish had never been recorded below I think it was 60 meters or 80 meters uh, in all of the um, uh, textbooks uh, that relate to this fish it had never been seen deeper than that now Guy was able to strap two of these Paralens cameras onto a mounted tray uh, to get some 3D footage dropped it off the side of a boat uh, on a obviously a long line uh, down on a reel and down to 150 plus meters it's down to the edge of the mesopelagic zone uh, the twilight zone and actually recalled some incredible footage of the fish that he'd been studying which had never been seen deeper than 60 80 meters so already he's kind of been able to rewrite the textbooks uh, as part of his studies which i think is actually pretty cool he wouldn't have been able to do that without this camera um, it's the simple and easy setup that he was able to demonstrate with it so pros and cons as with everything in life we get good and bad points and i'm going to take a couple of minutes just to list those out for you as you can see in my hand it, it's uh, not much bigger than most dive torches um, the built-in camera is incredible it records in up to 4k and it takes stills up to 8 megapixels um, obviously you can't get to the camera so again it's not something that you're worried about um, getting water ingress or leaking I love the ease of use to charge, change the memory card in the back and the little screen which tells you what mode you're in um, and that's the only way of getting into the camera, that unscrew cap which I've already shown you. Um, I love the feature of the depth colour correcting, the real time uh, depth colour correcting feature that we have um, for the built in pressure gauge, I think that's a really really smart feature be really interesting to see if other camera retailers especially the GoPro guys were to do something similar down the line rather than having a red filter stuck onto the front of your camera uh, it's got a built-in microphone and I found that the sound that it picked up were actually, was, was actually very very good quality and it comes with a, a range of accessories whether that be a mount to put onto the side of your head um, obviously the ball, ball joint that we've got here uh, clips that mount into the um, a flash shoe of your camera housing uh, and also I've seen like a submersible type thing so it has two floats that attach either side to it and you can tow it behind you to film yourself which actually I thought was a quite a cool idea uh, and finally my biggest pro for this is the just the ease of use the magnetic ring menu um, it is foolproof literally once you spend 60 seconds looking at uh, a menu uh, on a piece of paper or, on, or online to actually see how how each of the uh, functions work uh, and how easy the thumb click is uh, so so simple uh, it's ridiculous really really like that now the cons I only had a couple of things in the week that I was using it that um, I found uh, a, li a little annoying um, they're not big things but I'll call them out anyway no screen on the back there's no viewing screen obviously the unit is too small to have a viewing screen on it now having used GoPros before that had a viewing screen and also my G7X which I'm recording on now has a viewing screen. So it's you're kind of, uh, it's a little bit of potluck at what you're recording. You've got a pretty good idea and if you're taking a, a, um, a screen, wide angle screenshot, um, you're, you're pretty certain you're going to get what you want in it. But that was one of the things that niggled me. The um, second thing that niggled me wasn't about the camera, it was about the app. Now I used the app during the week. Uh, while I was away to connect the camera to my phone um, I was able to connect it fine and I was able to sort of see some of the photos in the video but then when I tried to download either a video clip or a photo to my phone the app kept crashing now that's not a fault with the camera and I'm sure there will be a software update for that app I'm pretty sure it wasn't just my phone that was doing that but nevertheless I found it annoying when I wanted to download something onto my phone um, and while I really, really like the depth and temperature stamp that you get on the video, um, I think it would be really cool to have a date and a time stamp that you can maybe turn on and off. I don't know about you guys, I record so much footage and when I'm trying to remember what day or what dive or what dive site I was on at that particular time, I'm trying to remember the dive and I'm looking through my logbook to see what I saw because I still write a logbook out. So I try and marry up my camera footage and my logbook to determine what dive the footage I'm looking at was from. But if you had a date and a timestamp on the front of uh, that's on the on the screen when you're reviewing your footage back, I thought that would be quite cool. Anyway, just a couple of suggestions from me. So summary: all in all, 
brilliant product. I love the build quality of this. I love the fact it weighs 155 grams. This thing is super sturdy. I love the ease of use menus. I love the fact that you can just operate in uh, with your thumb. You can take photos, you can take videos. The simple magnetic ring collar, which determines which uh, mode you're in. Uh, and even the custom settings are really, really easy to set up. Um, great quality microphone. If you are looking to record underwater video, if you're a recreational diver or even a technical diver, but if you're a recreational diver and you're, most of your dives are 20, 30 meters upwards, this thing is perfect for you. It's bulletproof, the simple uh, depth color correcting nature that it's got means it takes a lot of the work out of putting color back into your, uh, into your um, videos. If you are diving below those depths, start having a simple torch or a flashlight um, just uh, gives you absolutely great quality uh, footage. Great product. What I like about it when you're comparing it against the GoPro is that you have um, GoPros are great, I've used one before, but having to put the red filter on the front was always something that quite annoyed me. I've lost a number of them over the years when I was using a GoPro. Uh, and I think the really important fact to call out for this, and I think it was part of their slogan, the Parallel slogan, is that this is a camera for divers made by divers. And it kind of makes sense that as a diver you know what you want in a product. I like the fact that they have kind of um, employed the dive community essentially. They've kind of given out to a number of divers around the world and said, look, go and dive with these products, go and dive with this prototype, tell us what you want in, in this product. And that's essentially what we've got. So if you're a diver and you are looking for a camera to get some underwater video or photos and you're potentially already looking at the GoPro market, don't bother, go and get a Paralens. This thing is way, way easier to use. Um, I love the fact that you haven't got to put it in a housing, perfect, charge it up, put the cap back on the end, put a memory card in it and away you go. Perfect. Anyway, that's me done for today guys. I will speak to you all very, very soon. Cheers.